Uh, we have Vita Gill, the Executive Director of the Presbyterian Education Board of Pakistan. Vita, please come forward. And with her is Laurie Gift Harris, who's Executive Director of Friends of PEB, uh, Presbyterian Education Board. And um, I'm going to ask that Charlotte Dean and Alice Price also come forward. Uh, Charlotte and Alice have both been to Pakistan and have seen firsthand, if y'all could stand over here, Charlotte and Alice, um, have seen firsthand uh, the ministry that takes place through all the schools of the Presbyterian Education Board. And we are so happy that our largest one actually uh, helped to fund the Martin Poor Christian Girls School uh, that is a part of the Presbyterian Education Board project. And so we are happy to um, present this fake check, they got real check, that uh, <laughs> shows the $25,000 that we were able to give through our capital campaign in support of an uh, all-purpose facility for Thank that you. Christian school. And I would invite um, Laurie and or Vita to give us an uh, update as in terms of that ministry that is ongoing. Well, I'll begin and I'll take my mask off so that you can see my face for the first time. Uh, I feel a little underdressed because unlike these ladies, I have not yet been to Pakistan. Uh, I'm only the executive director now for the past six months. So I'm excited that when this pandemic is over and I can travel, that I will be able to do that. But I just wanted to greet you. I'm gonna let Vita give the update because I'm the newbie, but I do wanna say thank every one of you who have given generously to this project. And we promise you that it will be put to good use in God's, God's hands in the Pakistan. So thank you very much. Good morning, all of you and uh, greetings from Pakistan. In my language, I always say salam. So I bring salam to all of you from Martinpur village. Martinpur village is a Christian village with nearly 500 families there. And this Martinpur, the project which we are uh, talking about is a project where nearly 300 girls were sitting under the trees and they had no multipurpose hall. This money is going to go towards building a multipurpose hall. Girls were sitting during rain, during sun, if they had to take the exam, if they have to do any activity, it was just outside as the old building was really deteriorating and it was in a deplorable condition and it was unsafe. So I just want to say thank you from the core of my heart to all of you for joining hands in our struggle together we are making a huge difference in Pakistan during this pandemic, even though many of the schools were closed due to uh, people not observing uh, all the social distancing protocols. Just want to share one good thing about the Presbyterian schools. None of our school in Pakistan was closed down because government was visiting these schools and if we were not following the social distancing protocols and COVID-19 protocols, the schools were being closed. None of our schools were closed. So that is one of the good news from Pakistan. The work is going on. The girls are studying there. God is good all the time. And thank you indeed for joining hands. Together we are making a huge difference. May God bless you all. May God bless America and may God bless Pakistan too. Pakistan, Zindabad. Thank you. Uh, Vida.